When people suffer from asthma, an attack can occur when exposed to a trigger. Everyone's triggers vary, but there are common ones that bother most people. Understanding your triggers and finding ways to avoid them or eliminate them can help reduce attacks. Common asthma triggers found in the home are pets, dust mites, mold or mildew, pollen, smoke, strong fumes, or exercise. An asthma trigger is an allergen, irritant, or something physical that causes our airways to react and cause asthma symptoms. Our airways and our lungs respond by squeezing the muscles around the airway, allowing the airway walls inside to swell, and producing excess mucus. Many of our furry friends can cause an asthma attack. Pet dander is composed of tiny pieces of skin. These pieces can cause reactions in people who are specifically allergic to this trigger. Additionally, allergy triggers and allergens come from other sources other than the animal skin. Proteins found in their saliva, urine, and feces from our cats, dogs, and other pets can also cause an asthma reaction. How do I control a pet dander trigger? I'm gonna brush and clean my pets regularly. I'm gonna keep the pets out of the bedroom and avoid having pets if this trigger causes a severe reaction. Dust mites are microscopic pests that can trigger allergic reactions and asthma in many people. Hundreds of thousands of these dust mites can be living in our mattresses, bedding, upholstered furniture, carpets and our curtains in our home. How do I control a dust mite trigger? Keep mattresses and pillows in a dust mite proof encasement cover. Keep all stuffed animals out of the bed. Wash sheets and blankets weekly in hot water. Vacuum weekly with a bagless vacuum and keep humidity levels below 50% in the home. Mold and mildew are fungi, a type of organism that reproduces via spores. Spores are airborne particles that grow in wet or damp environments. Mold can be found both indoors and outdoors. Outdoor mold is most common from July to the fall. Indoor mold can occur year round. Mold requires moisture to grow. Therefore, common places to find indoor mold are bathrooms, kitchens, and basements areas that have been exposed to leaks, floods, or poor ventilation are more susceptible to mold growth. How do I control a mold or mildew trigger? Use air conditioning or dehumidifier to keep humidity levels less than 50%. Ensure proper ventilation with exhaust fans. Clean bathrooms with asthma-friendly mold-killing products. Avoid going outside when mold counts are high. Eliminate the source of mold by repairing moisture sources and professionally remove existing mold contamination. Pollen is a common allergen that can cause allergic asthma. Different pollens come out at different points in the year. Early to late spring, tree pollen. Late spring to summer, grass pollen. And late summer to early fall, ragweed pollen. How do I control a pollen trigger? Limit outdoor activity when pollen counts are high. Keep windows closed during pollen season or grass cutting. Keep filters and air conditioning units clean. Bathe or shower before bed to keep pollen out of our sleeping area. Change and wash clothes after outdoor activities. Wash bedding weekly in hot water. Wear sunglasses and a hat outside to keep pollen out of the eyes and off the hair and dry clothes inside in a clothes dryer and avoid using an outside line. Protecting asthmatics from smoke is very important. All levels of smoke are harmful to a, the person smoking and those breathing in the smoke. So you wanna stop exposure to greatly help those affected by smoke if it's their asthma trigger. All first-hand, second-hand, and third-hand smoke is harmful. If smoke is your asthma trigger, or if it's irritating to your lungs, you wanna avoid complete exposure at all levels. 
If you have asthma and smoke, please quit. Remove all smoking from inside the home and away from the bedroom of the person with asthma. Avoid smoking in the car and open windows to circulate smoke out and clean air in. Not only fumes from cars or chemicals can trigger an attack, but also perfumes and scented air fresheners can make breathing difficult for someone with asthma. For people, strong odors and perfumes, household and industrial cleaners, air fresheners, and nail polish and removers can trigger an attack. Some of our main odor offenders are air fresheners, bleach, cleaning products, deodorants, furniture polish, wood burning stoves, and even fireplaces. How do I control a trigger from strong smells? Use cleaning products or personal care products that are odor or fragrance free or wear a mask if you must use something stronger. Ask friends and family to limit use of perfumes. Keep your home well ventilated and avoid using air fresheners to cover up smells. Exercise is an important part of a healthy lifestyle for everyone, even those with asthma. Exercise-induced asthma causes narrowing of the airways that is triggered by strenuous exercise. It causes shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, and other symptoms. How do I control if exercise is a trigger? Premeditate 15 to 20 minutes prior to exercise with an albuterol inhaler with spacer. Do a 15 minute warm up. Control breathing through nose to keep air warm and humidified. Wear a mask or scarf when exercising in cold weather. Avoid exercising outside when pollen counts are high and avoid areas that have high levels of pollution. Asthma triggers are all around us, in our home and outside. Understanding what triggers your asthma and removing it can greatly help to avoid attacks in the future. For more information, please visit www.breathepa.org.